Hey guys, it's Jeff, and it's been a month since we started the hydroponic garden. So today I want to go through and we're going to take you on a journey. So if you want to just see the update, we're going to do that first. But if you wait around till the end, I'm going to take you on the month long journey for just how much growth has happened. Like this is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> But I will be kind of webbing in some shorts and that kind of thing during this process. But check this out. Let's give a tour. I'm going to show you exactly how much growth we've got, what we've got going on. And if this is your first video, welcome. My name is Jeff George, and we're all about self-sustainability here. So if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe and hit the like button so this gets pushed to more people. Because hydroponics are the future. Okay, guys. So I like to start over here with our basil plant check out just how big it is like holy cow that thing is huge we've got more than enough basil for anything we'd ever want to do but then check out the jungle of tomatoes we've got going on if we come over here i'm going to show you some of the fruits So there's some there, got a ton of tomatoes coming in here, and in here, and in here, and over here. This is crazy. These shot up, no joke, overnight to over the top of my little cage that I've got to support them. And we've had to keep clipping the tomatoes up in order to keep them from falling down which honestly is a great thing we still have our zucchini down here but since we've got those three we haven't had any new fruit come which is okay uh, we ate we're still eating the zucchini that we picked a couple weeks ago I will show you a picture of it here and then also guys, are you interested in learning how to build this system? Because I would make a video on this when I go to expand this system, if you're interested. And also, I've kind of got some mad uh, scientist ideas that are coming in for the future as far as systems that I want to build out in my homestead where we have some more land instead of here in town. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you leave a comment because I don't know if there is a drive for that because I'd love to show you guys how to build it. The tomatoes, we're planning on canning a bunch of this. Some of these are cherry tomatoes, some are romos, and some is actually seeds off a tomato that we got from a, a supermarket that was growing when we bought it. So we do plan on canning some of the Roma tomatoes and making our own sauce and that kind of thing. But these cherry tomatoes are gonna be amazing in salads. We've got some more tomatoes over here. And as you can see, as times went on, the tomatoes have really kind of just taken over the garden. And this is my first year doing this. So this is really just a big experiment anyway. But if we come down in here, our strawberry plant is actually growing quite a bit now, which is amazing news because that's something that will last. And, and that's amazing news because that's something that will come back next year. It's a perennial, so we will be able to harvest next year more than likely some small ones. We have some pumpkin and some zucchini down here. Currently, we've got lots of flowers. As you can see, the bees are loving it, which is great news because we always want to take care of the bees. We've got some strong plants over here. We did have some problems with some of the squash moth borers, and we had to keep take removing them forcefully. We'll just go with that in order to get them to stay off of our plants. But if we come over here on this side, let's see if he's still here. Our little friend at the, the beginning of uh, the video is gone, but we nicknamed him Frank. 
So Frank's protecting the garden from all the evil insects, which is great news. And I do have an open spot. And I have a tomato out front that is another supermarket tomato that we bought that had seeds in it. So we might put it in there. Look at our little seedling growing from a tomato plant from the supermarket. Just see what happens with it. Come over here, we've got our cucumbers finally starting to grow, which is great. It's actually planted over there and it's came clear across over to here. Underneath the cucumber, we have a carrot, which this is just an experiment. I'm wondering if it's just gonna become the size of the, the net cup at the bottom because it's just one of those things I've always wanted to try. I don't know if carrots are actually grown hydroponically or not, but like I said, this is an experiment. This onion is really getting some growth on it. It shot up in the last couple of weeks and it looks like it's gonna be ready to harvest probably sometime soon here. Then we started both the cucumber plant and the watermelon plant a while ago. If you check it out, I'll show you in our shorts that I'm gonna link at the end of, or just clip in at the end of this video. But our watermelon plant has really taken off. We've got our first flowers, which is great. And it's really starting to grow down. And I'm excited to have some watermelon coming. I didn't think that I was gonna be able to have any this year because the seeds that I started died, which is just kind of the reality when you're trying something new. And then we have a bean plant, which strangely came back from the dead because it was completely dead. And I just left it in the hydroponic garden and it's came back. And we're starting to get a bean there, which is pretty amazing. Oh, and we can't forget our cilantro that's back here, which for some reason our cilantro decided to go to flower really early. And we really only got one taco night out of it. So if you have any idea why that happened, please drop a comment below because I'm new to the growing cilantro and I'd like to know why it went to flower so bad so quickly. It had plenty of sun, plenty of water. Obviously it was grown in hydroponics. All right guys, it's time for the time lapses. So let's check this out. Here's the first week. Sheesh, we got some growth. Look at that basil. Here is the second week. Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are going to check out week three of growth from the hydroponic garden. Quality might not be great because I have to use my cell phone because it's raining. Okay, so we've had a lot of growth. Check it out, we've got this basil plant, lots of jungle looking tomatoes here, but the real star of the show obviously are the fruits. We can see some tomatoes coming in. Here's some more tomatoes that are coming in over here, and the biggest star, this zucchini. Look how big that is in a matter of one week. That's gonna be so good very soon. Come over to the other side, our strawberry plant's still growing, slowly but surely. We've got our carrot, our cilantro, but our pepper plant died. If anybody knows why, please let me know because I don't have a clue. Also, this cucumber's growing, bean plant's still going, and whatever this is. Follow for more. See you next week. Here is the third week. If you're following my saga, it's week three of hydroponic garden growth. So let's see what we've got going on here. As you can see, our basil plant is looking great. We've got tons of growth from the tomato plants. Check that out. Lots of tomatoes coming in. We've got some here and here. It won't be long before we're gonna have to start canning pasta sauce. Got some more here. And over here, you can see we've got zucchini growing. We're gonna harvest these two. And check out, we've got cucumbers that are gonna be coming up here shortly. And some cilantro. We've got a lot going on. That's four zucchini in a week. We'll see you in the next video.
And guys, just so you know, I know I messed up in the middle of one of my videos. I called it the third week when it was actually the second week. But this is one true month of growth. All right, guys, and thanks for watching. These plants are literally taller than I am with my arm up in the air. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, subscribe, drop a comment. I'll be in the comments to answer any questions you might have. And let's get growing, guys, because nobody's got your family like you've got your family, and you might as well be able to provide vegetables for them. So we'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching, everybody.